Alright, so this is time lapse four. And we're gonna be looking at the foot in this area. And for the foot, you know, I'm not gonna put a whole lot of detail in, but there is a lot of topology changing that needs to occur here. And I'll show you that here and as soon as it gets to that point. Once I turn the wireframe on. So right here I'm just adding some surface noise, some indication of skin, and there we go. So you can see these these edges are flowing around the mesh very weirdly. They're flowing this way. They should be flowing more straight across. So I'm going to have some very hard time developing some kind of indication of a a joint in this area because I'm fighting the topology. So what happens here is, you know, a as I start working with this, I realize, yeah, yeah, big huge problem, what am I going to do about it? And then if you this is a perfect example of using your lower levels to your advantage because at a lower level I can move all this topology around and then make way for a joint or something in that area. So I'm just flattening out these fingers, uh, giving an indication of like a toe. At first I was going to think claw, but then, you know, that's too cliche. So I'm, it's like kind of a two-toed two paw here in this area. All right, and let me pause that. So at the very end, I ended up with uh, this. So let's switch over to ZBrush and then minus this. So, so far this is what I have. And you can get a good feel of, you know, how things are moving along. And what I'm going to be doing is just going into each individual form and doing a time lapse on them. And then talking about, you know, what, what, what my thought process was there. And that's the MO for the entire lesson. Uh, so meet me back where now I work on this back leg a little bit and worry about, okay, well, I got this big, huge front leg. Now what am I going to do with the back leg and how am I going to work that in? Because obviously something needs to change so the two don't clash. All right. So uh, meet me in the next video.